going to teach you how I put my clip-in hair extensions on my head. I always get so many requests from you guys asking if I can do this video, if I can show you how I put them in, and also review them, so that's what I'm going to do today. I've always had really long hair all my life, and then a few years ago I decided to cut it short because all of my friends were, and I cut it like up to here, which I will never do again, but I missed my long hair so much that I was like, that's it. I'm getting hair extensions, and I went on the hunt for the perfect hair extensions. I tried real hair, fake hair, I went to websites in the US, I went to websites from the UK hair brands, I tried Sally's hair, nothing worked for me. And the problems I had with them were a few things. First, the biggest problem for me was that every hair extension brand I had tried got really thin and stringy towards the ends of the hair. As my hair gets longer, it gets a lot thinner, so I couldn't afford to have hair that was thick up here and then stringy at the bottom because if you have short hair and you're trying to make it longer with extensions, if you have extensions that are just thicker at the top and thin at the bottom, it's just gonna thicken the hair you already have and then it's like stringy down here and it's no good, it looks fake. Another thing I didn't like about extensions that I had tried was that they really hurt my head. I'm really sensitive to any kind of pressure on the top of my head or around my head. That's why you rarely see my hair up in a ponytail or a bun, just because I get a headache within an hour or so. So every extension that I had tried, it was like I could wear them for an hour and then my head would start hurting and I'm like, get this off my head. So that's why you guys have never seen a hair extension video on my channel before because I gave up on them. I'd never found a brand that I liked. So about a year ago I decided to try Bellamy Hair which is my holy grail of hair extensions which you will see in this video and I almost didn't even try them. The only reason I decided to give them a try is because of the reviews. The customer reviews were so positive. A lot of my friends had used them on YouTube and I trusted their opinion so I was like well maybe there is hope out there for me in the weave world. So when I got my first pair in, I was kind of skeptical, but I was like, let's do this. I kid you not, when I put them in my hair, I was like, oh, like the heavens open, and I was like, ooh, ooh, like I felt like I was like Lily Galici with like all this hair, and my hair was curled, and I had curled them, so I was like, <gasps> like what is this? Where have these been my whole life? And it was love at first weave. I put all of the wefts in my hair the first time, and it was way too much. Like I've never worn every single weft in my hair. I only wear four wefts, sometimes I can get away with two. So the set of extensions I'm going to be putting in my hair and showing you today are by Bellamy. Like I said, they are the 220 gram ash brown and this is my ride or die color. I love these so, so much or I wouldn't be doing a video on them. I don't review products too often anymore unless I am obsessed with them. So. This is the ash brown. The reason I love these extensions so much is because, first of all, the thickness and the volume. These extensions are made to be the same length from a root all the way to tip. I have never found a hair extension that has the same length from top to bottom. Most, like I said earlier, taper and they are a lot thinner at the bottom. Number two are the clips on these extensions. I am so picky if you haven't noticed for hair extensions because I've never found any that I liked. These clips fit so comfortably on your head and they don't tug and they don't pull the hair. My hair is really curly but I use like keratin treatments and stuff to smooth it out. So since my hair is a little bit slicker, I need some kind of clip that's going to grab because it's almost like my roots are a little bit finer and these, I don't even have to tease my hair. I've had this set for four months and they are cut. The ones in my hair are not cut or anything, these are just how they are. So I want you to see on straight hair how they look and out of the bag just so you can know what to expect when you first get them. I do have these cut about an inch and like she'll go like this and cut them so it looks a little bit more real. I haven't curled these in a while. I curl them like probably once every few weeks and then just touch them up when they are in my head. These are human hair, so you can cut them, you can color them, you can curl them, you can straighten them, you can do anything you want to these extensions. Now the first color I ever had from Bellamy was in chestnut, and I did have to have those colored because they were way too warm for my ombre. If you're going to get them colored, I highly recommend going to a salon or having a stylist do it, just because there is some kind of protective seal on these. My stylist was originally going to just tone the chestnut, and she said the toner wouldn't even grab. She had to color them 
them I think twice just to get the color to grab. If you're not sure what color you would be or if you're trying to figure out which ones you should buy that you're going to have colored, I would email Bellamy. That's what I had to do whenever I was trying to decide my first color and their customer service is amazing. The first time I ordered, I got Dirty Blonde and it was the wrong color. When you order, there's a little tester so you open that hold it up to your hair. If it's wrong, you can send it back. So that's when I sent it back, emailed them, and they told me I needed to get chestnut. When I first tried the extensions, this color was not even in their line. So this is like the color I've been wanting ever since I tried Bellamy. So when they came out with it, I was like, yes, yes. I also got this little hanger from Bellamy, which makes it so much easier to store your extensions. Before I had this, I literally didn't know what to do with my life. I was like, where do I put them when I'm done? I was putting them like in a little drawer of my dresser because I don't want to just have them sitting out because a, my dog would chew them up, or B, I didn't want to freak anyone out when they came over and saw hair laying everywhere. So if you can pick this up, it's a great investment for your extensions. When you buy a good set of extensions, you want to take care of them, so this is something you can have forever, and hold up, I got one more thing. I also got this little protective case from them as well because I travel a lot, and before I got this, I was like, uh, what am I going to do with my extensions? Put them in a Ziploc bag, in a grocery bag, which is fine. You can totally do that if you want. That's what I did before I had this, but if not, it's great great to have this. I got this and the hanger. They're coming in a set for $20 and the hanger just goes through the top and then you zip it up and put it in your suitcase or your closet. So I think I've talked about the extensions enough. I hope I answered all of your questions. If not, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll get to you as quickly as possible. I wanted to show you these extensions in my hair straight because you guys always see them in my hair curled. If you're new to my channel, just go back through my videos. I'm always wearing them. So I think you can tell a good pair of hair extensions by straight hair because it's a lot harder to blend. And that way you can be the judge for yourself if this is something that you would be interested in. So if you wanna see how I put these in my hair, then please keep watching. So when I put my hair extensions in my head, I do it a little bit differently than a lot of people do. A lot of people will stack them weft by weft by weft by weft, but I personally like to stack the wefts on top of each other. That way I'm not taking as much space up on my head and you're still getting that gradient of hair because when you're stacking the wefts, you're not stacking them parallel, you're stacking it a little bit lower because you can't stack it right on top of another clip. With the 220 gram set, you get two four clips, two three clips, two two clips, and four one clips. So first I'm going to take a three clip and a two clip and clip them together. Like I said earlier, I stack the wefts on top of each other. So for the first part, I like to go about the middle of my ear, just so I can keep that darkness where my ombre is, but you wanna keep the first weft kind of low so it's gonna blend with your real hair. Then all you have to do is push the clip onto the root of the hair and snap it in place. Next, I use the two four clips. I clip them together and I go about where the end of my brow is, so about an inch above my ear. I put these wefts where my ombre stops, that way the color is not too high. And this is also the widest part of my head because these wefts are the longest. I start by clipping the center clips and then I work my way outwards and then feel along the whole weft just to make sure it's all flat. You don't wanna have it bumpy. I love stacking the wefts together just because I only have to place like two wefts in my head even though there's actually four. Now I usually stop here, but I'm gonna show you how to get even more volume if you want. If you have shorter hair, you're definitely gonna wanna use this trick. So go right where your temples are, about above your eyebrow, and I'm going to use two of the single wefts and clip them on the sides of my head for that extra volume. Now you wanna make sure the weft is a little bit farther back. You don't want it too much towards the front or it'll peek through. And then I just like to pull the front of the hair outwards just to make sure that it doesn't show. Then I just brush all of the hair together and we're done. You can see just how thick it makes the hair and it's only four wefts and then the two on the side. Voila. So 
So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you do want to see a video on how I style my extensions, like how I curl them, how I put them in a ponytail or a braid, please make sure to comment down below and let me know that you guys want that. I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. I love you so, so, so much and I will see you in my next video.